Black Panther stocks. Eh, may pasensya para sundan ang kanyang kalaban. The Black Panther strikes. Uh, that's the time that they strike the enemy uh, using all his power, all his might. Then the Black Panther disappears. And after striking, he fades away or uh, big lang nawawala. Beat the Black Panther, the Philippine Scout Ranger. The Scout Rangers are uh, military personnel who graduated from the Scout Ranger course. Ang primary mission namin ay ang paghabol ng mga kalaban sa bundok. And uh, that is how we concentrated our uh, training on how to operate against the insurgents in jungles and in the mountains. The Ranger course ay isa sa pinaka mahirap uh, na korso na mabibigay sa isang uh, military personnel. Saying it's a difficult course is an understatement. Because of this, not just anyone can be a scout ranger. It's an experience fit only for the tough. To beat the enemy at his own game and at his own territory. And being so, there is no other way but to train them hard. Raise your hands up to the sky! They should be volunteers. At least, they're young because of the hard training. They need to be able to do it. May field experience na, na at least uh, two years. Ito, importante ito para uh, hindi na kami magturo ng mga basic. Kailangan makalangoy sila o pwede sila mag-cross ng isang ilog ng mga 50 meters na kompletong damit at rung may mga equipment. Etc. Etc. It may be quite easy to meet these minimum requirements, but surviving the course itself is a totally different ballgame. Before the start of the real course, it is tradition that students undergo the Scout Ranger reception. Reception may sound like cocktails and hors d'oeuvres to you, but to these guys, well... of a two-and-a-half hours continuous series of exercises to test their determination and stamina and to give them a feel of what to expect during the duration of the training. There are uh, more or less uh, five to ten students who created during that uh, reception. And for those who don't, there are four to six months of rigid training ahead of them. Five. The Rangers put a premium on physical training. After all, in actual combat, there is no place for the weak and sickly. We tried to uh, train the students to overcome the weaknesses of their body. And before they uh, go to mess during lunch time, they have to undergo the bar courses designed to develop the upper extremities of the student. Don't be fooled by the happy cheering of these men. Lunch is a welcome retreat from the action, but there is no such thing as too much rest at the training camp. They have their athletics, where they will perform the uh, guerrilla grassland exercise to develop their aggressiveness and mental alertness. Running is also part of a ranger's daily menu. Whether it be on the road or cross-country, students are sure to develop endurance and stamina. After all, running a distance of 14 to 30 kilometers with heavy packs and equipment is no easy feat. Hanging on ropes, vines, or branches are unavoidable when fighting in jungle terrain. To 
To be prepared for this, a scout ranger must master the ropes course. Learning the ropes also comes with other obstacles, such as walls, tunnels, or barbed wire. These are laid out to prepare students to hurdle any obstacle to accomplish their mission. Go! The rappelling and slide for life exercises require a little more courage. Whether it be the lizard or the Australian rappel, it's no joke to be hanging many feet away from the ground. Ready for slide for life, Go! Go! Physical training is a basic necessity, but in the combat zone, it would be useless if not accompanied by certain skills. The students are taught basic gun assembly, basic explosives, map reading, and of course, first aid. These all sound theoretical and easy to learn, but they may spell life or death in the line of fire. Guerrilla fighting requires a steady trigger finger and perfect aim. Even in training, the difference between a lousy marksman and a slick one can already mean serious injury. Sa confidence firing ng bawat isang scout ranger regular, yan po ay requirement. Na bawat isa sa amin mayroong kaming tiwala na hindi kami matatamaan. Tinatawag ko po sa Panginoon na sana ilayo kami sa disgrasya at bigyan ng sapat na galing ang kabadi ko para yun lang po ang balon ang matamaan. Trust and confidence in the other students may be the key to survival in real combat. After all, the scout rangers never work alone. There is a 10 heavily armed men. And the scout ranger team is composed of seven men. Because I uh, little believe that uh, a man is uh, capable of controlling effectively six men in combat. Each member of the team has a specific and distinct function, making each member important to the success of any mission. The late scout, guys, and nurse of the team. Yon ang nagtitingin ng. Dapat puntahan, dapat uh, makita yung kalaban na malayo pa. The guide. I am the pathfinder and navigator of the team. He is holding the compass. He is the navigator. The team leader. I'm responsible for whatever the team does. I'm in charge of all communication requirements of the team. This is Tant Rajaman. I'm also the sniper. So if the regiment becomes casualty, he becomes uh, automatically the regiment. I'm the intelligence agent and demolitionist of the team. Dito sa amin, we at least train the sniper to hit a target uh, with the sniper rifle at a distance of uh, 800 to 1,000 meters. The medical aid man of the team, capable of giving first aid and mountain evacuation. He is supposed to erase the traces that the team has uh, made uh, during their movement. Working as a small unit is the hallmark of the Rangers. Seven men prepared for any kind of combat situation. They could meet the enemy face to face or even be caught in a vehicular ambush and still survive. The secret is teamwork. Wala kayo yung teamwork, yung matalo talaga sa labanan doon. Bawat isa sa amin ay hanggang lumaban kahit anong mission. Dahil po sa training namin sa body-body system. Yung buhay mo, nakasalalay doon sa kasama mo, yung buhay na kasama mo, andyan din sa'yo. After four more weeks of intense training on the field, comes the real McCoy, the test mission. It requires the student to undergo a one-month combat mission in critical areas in the Philippines. And there were instances wherein some of the students graduated posthumously. At this point, everything learned becomes a matter of life and death. Preparation becomes not only physical, but mental as well. Iniisip ko po ang Panginoon at ang kaligtasan ko at saka sa akin mga kasamahan. 
their peer. They must be able to control their emotion. Kapag pipigilan lang po yung takot na yan sa labanan through training. It is the inner will that propels the scout ranger to go on and on even when the odds are great and the chips are down. For the rangers, it is better to die fighting than to die without meaning. It is obvious heroism, but for them, the goals are simple. Unang una, mahalin kayo ng mga sibilyan. Ipakita ninyo ang inyo pagiging disiplinado, ang inyo pagiging uh, tao. Pangalawa, katakutan kayo ng inyong kalaban. Pakita ninyo ang galing ninyo na iba sa ibang klaseng mga sundalo. At pangatlo, kailangan makuha ninyo ang respeto ng kapwa ninyo sundalo. All this for an even simpler reward. If you accomplish your mission, you feel satisfaction yourself. Yan po ang kapalit ng tinatanggap namin sa aming bansa na yung tinatawag namin na earn living. Makatulong kami sa pamalaan na makabawas sa mga agin sa gobyerno na lumalaban sa pamalaan natin para makatulong kami bilang isang mahirap na mamamayan. All hands up to the Black Panthers. The stuff good soldiers are made of.